Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Swallowed Star based on novel. So let's start. They deserve to die. They deserve to die. Luo Feng's gaze was God, without a tiger in the mountain, the monkeys take over. Atki. Yang Hai. Sago Nero. All of you will die. At Star Traveler level 3, Luo Feng had already surpassed the old heroes by killing the Grand Emperor Monster, and was on par with Hong and Thunder God. And now, at Star Traveler level 6, killing those people would be like stepping on ants. Europe, Paris headquarter city, Dawn. Dressed in a western suit, with his all-white hair neatly trimmed, Yang Hai was in a good mood as held a wine glass and sat on his villa's third-level balcony, he he. Sniffing, Yang Hai seemed to enjoy the smell, closing his eyes and taking a sip, exhilarating. Yang Hai remarked as he enjoyed. He enjoyed his current life, back during the Grand Nirvana period, he regarded the end of the world and that situation as the best life for the strong, he could live like an emperor. He had assembled beside him a group of savage and brutal helpers like him, however, Zhu Yi that asshole, his sense of justice was too strong. The two were huge rivals. As two great warriors from China, their powers were extremely close. Finally, he was cornered by Zhu Yi and finally forced to leave China, hiding in the faraway European continent. Decades passed with him not daring to step foot in China. And now, whenever he felt like going, he'd just do it, he did whatever he felt like. Zhu Yi was dead. The fourth chairman had also died. Luo Feng, that sick bastard too was dead. All that was left was the fifth chairman Atki, and he was his good friend, he was the same as himself, good wine, good wine. Yang Hai smiled end to end, pouring for himself to enjoy. The oppressive days from before were gone, and now, he was living it up, H.M. Yang Hai was startled, slowly turning around to look, his heart filled with fear, how can this be, how can this be? With the Mu Ya crystals, I've already stepped into the Star Traveler level 3. Even Atki, who is stronger than me by a bit, cannot get behind me without me noticing. On this earth, there shouldn't be anyone like that, it can't be. His heart roared. However, Yang Hai continued to slowly turn around, his gaze concentrated, staring hard at that spot, he wanted to know. Just who it was. Wearing long army pants, with a simple sleeveless on top, black short hair, his entire being seemed extremely malevolent and ferocious, his gaze incomparably cold, you, you, Yang Hai's eyes were wide open, no, no, his face became flushed red, as though he had seen a ghost, it can't be. You, don't look as though you've seen a ghost, only the guilty fear the dead, I am indeed Luo Feng, and I've come to reap your life. A cold voice resounded. Rumble. Yang Hai felt his soul get ripped apart, after his soul had scattered, his entire body collapsed on the floor, HMPH. Luo Feng looked with his icy cold gaze, you are the first. He had already flown far into the sky. Sounded, what? Atki's expression changed, his heart was in a flurry, how did Yang Hai die? Who on this earth had the ability to so easily kill Yang Hai, how did he die? Atki asked, no clue, no one in his entire house heard any commotion. No one knows just how he died, or even when. Atki creased his eyebrows and said solemnly, the cause of death, unable to determine. Yes, Mr. Yang Hai's body is undamaged, his body is extremely healthy, he shouldn't be dead. The moment he finished, Atki's expression changed immediately. Shutting the phone, Atki's eyes squinted, his gaze cold, it's a spirit reader attack on his soul. Only with one soul destroyed would one die this way. However, on this earth, there's only one star traveler spirit reader, Sago Nehru. And Sago Nehru is only a level one star traveler, he doesn't have the power to kill Yang Hai. Just who is it? Who? Two silhouettes swiftly flashed through Atki's mind, people he had suppressed in his memories over the years, Eastbourne. And the genius, even stronger than Eastbourne, Luo Feng, but they are dead. Eastbourne's body, I saw it personally. Luo Feng's life force too had weakened till it vanished, it was broadcasted all over the world. Atki's expression changed greatly, not right, Luo Feng, Luo Feng, 
he remembered Hong and Thunder God who were deep in their coma, back then their life force signals too had vanished, and while they didn't have any mental signals, they were living dead. But still, they weren't dead. That swallowing beast too had gone through rebirth, no one saw Luo Feng's body. From the start to end, no one had seen Luo Feng's body. Don't tell me, he, he's still alive. Atki's expression was ugly. Back then, with extreme ease, Luo Feng had killed the Eight Tentacle Grand Emperor, he was not something Atki could deal with. Against the Eight Tentacle Grand Emperor, he would be easily killed. And back then Luo Feng handled it with such ease. Luo Feng, that young but invincible abnormality, was on par with Hong and Thunder God. Atki. He needed to respect Luo Feng. If Luo Feng had truly returned, knowing he had sent Seigo Neru and Wei Yi Nuo to take away his Mu Wai crystals by force, then no, no. Atki shook his head, extremely nervous and worried. If it was Luo Feng, he was screwed. Even if it wasn't Luo Feng, to be able to kill Yang Hai without so much of a sound, he was afraid he too wouldn't stand a chance, hello. Atki quickly made a call, Seigo Neru, it's me Atki, I suspect Luo Feng isn't dead and has just killed Yang Hai. You need to be careful, perhaps it would be best to immediately leave your home. Asia, India, New Delhi headquarter city. Because of the time difference, it was dawn in Europe, but mid-afternoon in New Delhi, the ferocious sun of four was shining on the land, and in the headquarter city's east district, there was a large castle, it was India's ancient household of power, owned by the powerful Nehru family. The Nehru family was originally the strongest only in the political world, however since one of its children, Sago Nehru had swiftly risen, becoming the world's only star traveler spirit reader, the family's power grew by leaps and bounds. Ever since Mr. Sago Nehru agreed to accept spirit reader disciples, the number of visitors have been increasing every day. Spirit readers, it's something that's not easy to train. Sago Nehru is the entire world's most powerful spirit reader, also, he's still so young. Even compared to Huashia's Luo Feng, their ages are similar. Mr. Sago Nehru is India's pride, a definite spirit reader genius, I believe he'll be just like Mr. Luo Feng, becoming incredibly powerful and invincible. Yes, the entire world says that Sago Nehru is the second Luo Feng. On top of the castle, two guards looked down on a luxurious car, which had stopped in the parking lot outside, beginning a discussion quietly. Within the castle. In the living room, gathered two groups of visitors, please wait a moment, Sago Nehru is currently meditating, once he's finished, he will attend to you all. A man dressed in a light silk clothing smiled as he said, all right, I'm in no rush. The two groups had a total of eight people, and among them were two young spirit readers. It was clear that they awakened recently. In the castle, dressed in a luxurious black robe, a youth was lying on a sofa. His leg was resting on a glass table, his hand was holding a goblet, within it he swirled the exquisite red wine, woo. Sago Nehru gently took a sip, fight with me. That old man, he's already so old. I'm still so young, just with power alone how can he compare with me? Right now, the moment I'm willing to accept disciples, countless powerful families are sending their children over to be my disciple. I am the Earth's only star traveler level spirit reader. With the big powers on my side, also with big brother Atki helping out, plus I'm from the Nehru family, the family with power in India, the position of head in the Thunder Dojo is definitely mine. Sago gently raised his head, revealing a condescending smile, woo, and people dare say I'm the next Luo Feng, I've heard too much of these words. Ever since he broke through into the Star Traveler level, everybody praised him, saying how he would be just like Luo Feng in many aspects. In the beginning, Sago Nehru was very proud and happy. But after hearing much of such sayings, he began to get annoyed, HMPH, my age is similar to Luo Feng's, I will one day reach the skies, become even stronger. Just like Hong and Thunder God. When that time comes, I will make others say, Luo Feng, you are Sago Nehru number two. Ha <laughs> ha, enjoying success at such a young age, Sago Nehru was extremely content and arrogant, suddenly his phone rang. Hello. Sago Nehru answered, Sago Nehru, it's me, Atki. I suspect Luo Feng isn't dead and has just killed Yang Hai. You need to be careful, perhaps it would be best to immediately leave your home. 
Atki's voice transmitted from the phone. Sago Nehru was so shocked he stood upright immediately. However, the moment he stood up, he realized there was someone standing at the door behind him, he was wearing long army pants, a simple sleeveless top. The man had yellow skin and black short hair. His gaze was piercing like knives through his soul, causing Sago Nehru to tremble. Sago Nehru's eyes opened wide. This appearance, 99% of the entire world recognized, he, he Sago Nehru's face had gone pale. Extreme fear. Before he had felt he himself was very strong, but now with this person standing right in front of him, with just a gaze, he felt an overwhelming sense of fear. And he had once gone to that person's family's house to steal the treasures left behind. Sago Nehru, say something. Why aren't you saying anything? Atki's nervous voice resounded, he, he has already arrived. Sago Nehru squeezed out a smile, Mr. Luo, Mr. Luo Fong, you are actually still alive, this is just, there are quite a few scum in this world, but for someone to sink to such a level, Luo Fong's gaze was cold, suddenly a mental attack, one undetectable by the naked eye, pierced through Sago Nehru's consciousness like a sharp needle, the mini planet within was pierced through just like tofu, crumbling. Sago Nehru's eyes opened wide, they were filled with fear before he collapsed on the floor. Overlooking Sago Nehru's body from above, Luo Feng's body vanished out the door straight after. Up high in the sky, Luo Feng stepped on the soaring shuttle, becoming a beam of light and heading towards America. From birth till now, Luo Feng had never been some saint or some impregnable hero. The only thing was, he had his own limits within his heart. There were many scum in the world, but Luo Feng would never lash out at them or go punish every single one of them. After all, where there's light, there will be darkness. However, Atki, Sago Nehru and Yang Hai, these three top powers had done one thing that truly enraged Luo Feng, to threaten or directly rob the relatives of the deceased heroes, Mo Henderson, Eastbourne, Tripothi Singh, Jiu Yi, Sokolov, you all died with honor. And these three bastards, actually disturbed your peace. I definitely won't allow it. Luo Feng's fixed his gaze on the oceans in the direction of America, following Barbata's tracking signals that he had acquired from hacking into the internet, Atki was currently in the Washington base. Washington headquarter city, because of the time difference, it was currently late at night here. A luxurious car stopped in the street, his arrived, a voice transmitted from the phone, Atki's eyes widened from within the car, not good, Luo Feng is really not dead, he has really returned. Atki's forehead had beads of cold sweat, at the same time, a thought swiftly flashed in his mind, without question, Luo Feng had killed Yang Hai first, he was definitely heading to kill Sago Nehru now, and the next would probably be himself. I am trapped in a hopeless situation, cornered. The earth is so big, but with Luo Feng's power, I have nowhere to run. Atki grit his teeth, I can only do this. He immediately grabbed his hand phone, swiftly making a call, help me quickly this instant, with the greatest speed gather all the important media and reporters in Washington, also, inform the rest of the world's media via the HR Alliance, this night, was not going to be a peaceful one. The Earth's number one person, the HR Alliance's chairman Atki had begun his struggle to live. Luo Hua was in his company's office, sitting in front of his computer. Xu Xin Tu was at her company's computer. They both watched their own screens. Wei Wen, who was napping in the afternoon due to the heat, was also dragged by his girlfriend to a computer, what? Wei Wen was so excited his mouth dropped wide open. The dojo of limits, Luo Feng's earlier teacher, Jiang Fang Tu was in front a computer. The girl who once chased after him, Janet, was with a suitor, stopped in a street, raising her head to watch the big screen. Countless people around the world were watching this scene, the eight heroes were legendary in their saving of the world before. The media and reports after made them almost godlike. And right now, the youngest and most genius amongst them was still alive. This was relayed personally by the HR Alliance's chairman, broadcasting to the rest of the world, I know this news is so exciting that it's hard to go back to bed. That's why, I couldn't resist, I had to immediately relay this good news to everyone. He's a hero I truly respect. Incomparable respect. Atki acted as though he was extremely emotional from his respect of the heroes and that one had returned, on television, computers, screens in the streets, 
this caused countless people to get even more emotional. They didn't suspect that he was just acting. From their point of view, respecting these eight heroes was normal. Suddenly, above the plaza, a beam of light swiftly descended, stopping gently. The entire plaza, including Atki had gone silent. The entire world, everyone in front of their computers or television had gone silent. The entire world was silent. Everyone looked at that silhouette. He, dressed in long army pants, simple sleeveless top, black short hair, his gaze deep as the ocean. From mid-hair, he descended slowly, that formless aura seemed to permeate even people watching through their screens. Warriors are just like scattered sand. Now that Mr. Luo Feng has returned, this is great. I hope Mr. Luo Feng can lead us and continue to protect humanity against the sea creatures. I am willing to follow Mr. Luo Feng into battle, to fight for humanity. Atki looked earnestly at Luo Feng, his voice going through the microphone. Resounding throughout the plaza, throughout every television screen, every computer screen. Luo Feng looked at Atki. He secretly laughed coldly, this Atki, if he thought about escaping, with Barbatas tracing through the satellites and his own speed, there was nowhere for him to run at all. And now, he actually created such a scene, obviously he wanted the billions of people on earth to witness and know, how much he respected and worshipped Luo Feng. Saying he wanted to follow Luo Feng and fight for humanity, Mr. Luo Feng. Atki controlled the energy around, cutting off the surrounding sound from the outside of his barrier, his face filled with regret and embarrassment. I admit, in my greed before I've made a mistake. However, I plead for Mr. Luo Feng to give me a chance. The Mu Yae crystals, spirits of nature that Sago Neru took from you family, I will return. I only hope, you give me one more chance. Now that you've returned, even if given the opportunity, I would never dare to do such a thing again. Atki's posture was lowered. However, deep within, he thought, the only escape route is to fight desperately in the face of death. With the entire world witnessing, hundreds of millions of people watching, with the media reporting, Luo Feng's image is undeniably brilliant, perfect. The people's hero. And I am showing so much respect, worshipping him, how can he do anything to me? If he attacks me, that would destroy his perfect image. Attacking me, will raise countless people's suspicion towards him. Atki. Luo Feng spoke, Mr. Luo Feng. Atki bowed, displaying high respect, even his gaze towards Luo Feng seemed to be filled with respect and worship. Websites all began to debate about the details of the incident. Luo Feng stepped on the soaring shuttle and flew high in the sky. Surveying the endless ocean, a rare smile appeared on his face, you still have the mood to smile. Luo Feng, you just killed Atki, that has destroyed your perfect image. You must know, as a hero, a man known as an unsurpassed genius, among the humans on earth, 100% of all the discussions on the internet were all in favor of you, they worshipped you. Your image was of absolute perfection. Right now, that's all gone. What a pity. Barbata said, perfect. I was never perfect. Luo Feng gave an indifferent smile, and I've never thought of being a perfect person, whoever deserves to die, I'll kill him. Barbata couldn't help but think, HM, this Luo Feng repossession has definitely been influenced by the golden horned beast, his brutality and killing intent is much greater than before. However, he he, I like it. The hot blistering sun of June, had no effect, or way of diminishing man's passion. Yangju City, Mingyu District, many citizens had gathered here, their heads all raised as they waited, waiting for Luo Feng's appearance. Even the communities of Mingyu were all excited and awaiting Luo Feng's return. Maybe in other countries, there were people who were suspicious about Luo Feng's murder of Atki. However, as the pride of China, Luo Feng was undeniably an upright, almost everybody stood on his side, Luo Feng. A youth looking through binoculars shouted out. Immediately, the countless citizens that had clogged up the district, even to the point where some were standing on cars, they all erupted in cheers. A silhouette was swiftly flying over, landing in a grass patch in Mingyu district. Luo Feng glanced over towards the district, smiling, before heading directly to his house. This smile caused countless of worshippers to cheer in complete excitement. 
at his house door. His father Luo Hongua, mother Gongshen Lan, wife Xuxin, little brother Luo Hua were all present, including the now able to stand twin children. Luo Feng walked over step by step. His family's eyes were all wet and tearing. Call out to your dad. Xuxin held the hands of the two children who looked extremely alike. The two of them looked over and opened their mouths. Dad, daddy, daddy Luo Feng was so excited and emotional he cried. Since Luo Feng's return in June, the violent undercurrents around the world suddenly halted, the greedy families didn't uh, make any moves. Thunder Dojo and the Dojo of Limits returned to their original activities, the entire world seemed, for an instant, to be extremely united, no one dared to disturb that peace. This was Luo Feng's influence. When Luo Feng returned home, he first went to pay his respects to the five good friends that sacrificed themselves. Mo Henderson, Eastbourne, Tripothi Singh, Jiu Yi and Solikov. Then, he went over to the Dojo of Limits headquarters, visiting Hong and Thunder God who were still in their comas. After, Luo Feng organized a wedding with Xu Xin. All was at peace, under the influence of Luo Feng this superpower, peace prevailed over the entire world. Year 2061 Winter, Good Ping Ping, Come, Eat Another Mouthful. HM, Good Good. Luo Feng carried a small bowl, going to feed his other son. Little Hai, come, good, right, eat another mouthful. Don't be mischievous, your older brother has eaten three mouthfuls. You've only eaten one. Come. Luo Feng looked lovingly at his son, coaxing him, feeding the children. On the sofa beside him, Xu Xin was personally knitting a sweater, smiling as she looked over, Luo Feng, Luo Feng. Barbata's voice resounded in his consciousness. Luo Feng, carrying the bowl in his hand was startled, what's up? That black dragon ship, except for a few assisting functions aside, everything else is ready. Even though it still cannot travel through universes, but it can at least reach sub-light speed, 100,000 km per second. Barbata said, in my storage space now, I'm currently fixing the assisting function systems, but the black dragon ship itself is ready for use. Didn't you say, the metal gathered on earth was too little, there was no way to engage in the golden horned beast's training. Especially the deity of the world, there was no way to train at all. With the black dragon mountain ship, even though it hasn't exactly reached the speed of light, with one hour's time, it can reach Mars. You can totally eat breakfast in the morning, head to Mars, return in the night and have dinner. Barbata said. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.